My name is Tristan Justice and I'm a staff writer at The Federalist and I'm just wrapping up the final day of my trip here to Florida where I've come to investigate why is Donald Trump doing so much better among Hispanics down here than he did four years ago? After three days of being here, it really boils down to just how far left the Democratic Party has gone to enthusiastically embrace these socialist proposals that were faithfully imp implemented with good intentions in the very regimes that many people came here to flee from. The state of freedom has only continued to de deteriorate in Latin America in much of the last decade, presenting a re-traumatization of the horrors that many who came here experienced from their home countries. Democrats here are now promising everything that these people were promised back home. Free health care, free education, the radical expansion of the welfare state. Democrats are even now endorsing draconian lockdown measures to, in the name of public safety, presenting a serious case of deja vu for many people here who fled oppressive regimes. The deep ties to law enforcement with the Hispanic community have also presented some serious obstacles to Democrats who are embracing Black Lives Matter in calls to defund police. The historic animosity towards police has only further alienated the Hispanic population down here deeply connected. Not only that, but this tribalist appeal to the black community has only further alienated Hispanics. People who have only been here a generation or two are now being blamed for the consequences of a 150 year institution of slavery. Many Hispanics came here with maybe $5 in their pocket and yet rose up to be successful business owners, entrepreneurs, and successful in their own right, being an embodiment of the American dream. So based on my conversation with activists, voters, and even business people down here, people feel alienated by this cultural woke revolution that are blaming Hispanics here who have maybe been here a few generations for the consequences of this white supremacist society that they just haven't experienced. So while Democrats continue to endorse these radical left-wing socialist proposals, giving the Hispanic population down here a case of deja vu, and continues this tribalist appeal to Black Lives Matter excluded, excluding Latino lives, they're only going to further alienate a key part of their base that was key to their successes in past elections. Florida is a must-win battleground for either candidate this fall, and if Democrats can't win this state, they might have a problem in November. And if Democrats lose Florida this fall, there's not much to indicate that they're going to win it back in 2024. And that presents some serious long-term consequences for the Democratic Party.